Rabbi, it is good for us to be here. We heard those words on Sunday in the Gospel of the Transfiguration. Jesus had told his disciples that he, he was going to suffer and die. They expected things to just be go along well, to be the glory trail that leads to Jesus' victory over sin and evil in the world. But he tells them, no, it's going to be different. He's going to suffer and die on the cross before he rises again. And he tells them, unless they take it their courses, they can't follow him. They've seen Jesus. They've seen the things he's done in his life. They've seen his healings and how he's fed the crowds and so on. But they still need something to give them to hold on to when they see Jesus die. And then that happens on this mountain where the light, the shining face of Jesus, the, the cloud, the voice from heaven, those are all things that are indications that God is present. They have this experience that God is present in Jesus in a whole new and real way. And it still isn't enough because when Jesus dies on the cross, they run away. We face a world in which there are so many things that are wrong. There are wars, there are people killing people, so much injustice, so much pain, so much suffering, so much hunger. And we wonder, is that what life is all about? We need to look at the things that are done that help people. We need to look at agencies like Doctors Without Borders, where doctors travel to so many places to help those in need. Think about Catholic Relief Services, Catholic Medical Mission Board, where it spend hundreds of millions of dollars and have thousands of people working to relieve pain and suffering. And there are so many other agencies like this. And we need to see in our own lives the good things that happen. People who forgive, people who are understanding, people who are compassionate. And we need to they say, say to the Lord then, Lord, it is good for us to be here. Because we need to see those things when the world seems to be all wrong, and even in our life, things seem to be all wrong. We need to see that Jesus is God, is truly present, and is present among us now. Think about it.